All right, so today what we're gonna work on is uh, finalizing our drawings of our forms and then working on um, this part down here which is diagramming each side of the vase that you're going to be making. So I wanted to kind of walk through that process with you guys and make sure everybody understands what I would be expecting um, if I were in the classroom with you. So for your notability journal last week, one of the things I asked was for you guys to really play around with different forms. And for your journal, you had to have at least two ideas. Um, I've redrawn mine and here I have, I don't know, seven different ideas for form. So if you can kind of see, I've just played around with different things that I thought might be kind of interesting. Um, I settled on this one here that has kind of a flared edge on it. I think that one would be fun to play around with. It'll give me some um, room up here to do some designs, spill out some textures, um, and you know maybe add up more textures down here or a band of design with my Elon transfers that I mentioned um, in class last week. So once you have all of your designs figured out, the next step in the process is down here, which is to draw out a more finalized version of your sketch. I have my looser sketch here and my final version here. And in each area of my final version, I have put a measurement so I know how tall and how wide my vase is going to be. So for this part here, the long tall part in the front, I wrote down that I want that to be eight inches tall. For the width down here, that's gonna be four inches. And I have my base piece here. For my sides um, of my, my vase, it's gonna be kind of a narrow vase. So the side of my vase is gonna be three inches. I don't want you guys to have anything less than two inches for the width of your vase if you're gonna make it kind of in the same format. Um, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna make it in the same format that I have here, um, where I have kind of a narrow side and two big front flat pieces. Okay, so nothing less than two inches, otherwise it's gonna get tipsy. All right, so I have my pieces kind of just quickly sketched out on my paper, so I know which pieces I'm going to diagram. The next step is drawing them carefully and full size. So um, for my sketch here that I have, I want it to be symmetrical. That means I want it to be the same on both sides. So if I were to draw a line down the center and fold that piece of paper or fold my clay, it's the same on both sides. So the simple way to start out by making your, your drawing is to actually fold your piece of paper in half, okay? And then using a ruler, we are going to make sure that we have nice straight lines. I think the top of my vase, according to my measurement, is three inches. So on here, I'm gonna make it one and a half inches because then when I open it up, it'll be three inches across. Down at the bottom of my vase, according to my measurement here, it's gonna be four inches. So same thing, I'm gonna just kind of cut that measurement in half, draw my line to two inches. So again, when I unfold my paper, that would be a four inch base. Next thing in my case is um, drawing out my nice sharp angled here, angled line. So I'll kind of sketch it loosely, revise it um, if I don't like the way I drew it. And then once I have the line pretty much the way I want, then I can darken it. And that is going to be the shape of my vase. Okay, now all I have to do is cut right along my lines. All right, finish cutting this out. And then when I open it up, I will end up with my vase being symmetrical on both sides. Okay, um, I need, for my drawing, I need two pieces that are exactly the same, one for the front and one for the back. I need my side piece and I need a base piece. So I diagrammed all of that on my paper here. Okay, so now that I've done my front piece, I would cut a second one that's exactly the same. So I'll have two, one for the front, one for the back. I have my three inch wide strip that this is going to go along the side of my vase to make it, you know, three inches wide. And then I also have a base piece. This will be my piece of clay that goes onto the bottom of the vase. 
to hold the hold the water in, which is really important. All right, so that's your work for today is to finalize your drawings, make sure you have diagrammed your dimensions on your piece of paper before you get started, and then use some just nice pieces of printer paper if you're at home or drawing paper if you're at school to go ahead and draw out each piece that you're going to need for your vase. You are going to be taping these together and creating a paper form. That's gonna be the next step to make sure everything fits. So you do need one piece for the front, one piece for the back, one piece for each side, and your base, okay? So that once we start to construct everything out of paper, it will all fit together. The next video is gonna show you guys how to do that. So we're gonna end um, this step here with just the diagramming and the cutting of your templates for this video.